Dr. Burke Nobley, thank you so much for being with us. Um, let me begin the questioning by picking up on a point you just made and you put in your written remarks as well. You said, and I quote, and, and goes without saying that everybody here wishes you the very best in your struggle with breast cancer. Thank you. Uh, you said, and I quote, every treatment I have received was supported by NIH-funded research, correct? Correct. Can you give us some idea based on your expertise about how much treatment for breast cancer costs in this country today? Somebody has breast cancer over a period of years, how much is it going to cost? Uh, Chairman Sanders, that is uh, a widely variable result. Um, I, I truly could not give you an estimate because breast cancer is incredibly complicated and can range anything from, you know, a simple surgery to uh, right. years and years and years of uh, very extensive Would therapy. I be wrong in saying that for some individuals it will cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for treatment? I believe that is correct. What do you say, as a physician yourself, to somebody who is undergoing treatment for a drug or treatment that was developed by taxpayer dollars that they can't afford or are going to go deeply in debt to pay for? What's, what does one say to a person to say, thank you for your tax dollars developing the drug, but I'm sorry you can't afford the treatment you need to stay alive? What, how, do, how does one respond to that person? Yes, uh, Chairman Sanders, I have to tell you that I have sat in clinic next to patients of my own who, for one reason or another, could not afford their treatment. It is, it is a tragedy. I uh, sincerely appreciate you championing the cause of affordable and accessible care for all Americans. And if confirmed, I will work with you to the fullest extent of my abilities to also ensure that that is the case. Thank you uh, for your thoughts. Uh, let me be rather specific. Uh, if you are confirmed to be the next NIH director, will you commit to uh, reinstating and expanding the reasonable pricing clause uh, in NIH contracts? In other words, if the federal government puts money into the research and development of a drug, Will you insist that the price that that drug is charged in America is not higher than it is charged in other countries around the world, given the fact that we paid for the research and development? Uh, Chairman Sanders, I w uh, can uh, say that I myself believe that the American people deserve a fair return on the investment that Congress has placed within the National Institutes of Health and the research that we do. And I will commit to working to make sure that the benefits of our research are affordable and available to all the American people. I cannot give further specifics at this time about the execution of that, uh, that uh, plan. So you're not prepared to tell us that when taxpayers spend billions on a drug, they will not be asked to pay the highest prices in the world for what they paid for? Uh, Chairman Sanders, I am more than prepared to say that I will do whatever I am able to bring, make sure that affordable and accessible care is available for everyone who needs it. Um, Dr. Estellas and Pfizer are charging Americans with prostate cancer over $165,000 for Xtandi, while the exact same drug can be purchased in Japan for just $20,000, 165000 20000 in Japan. This is a drug that was developed by NIH, NIH funded scientists at UCLA. Do you think the price of Xtandi is reasonable? Should we be paying eight times more for a drug that taxpayer dollars developed than the people in Japan? Uh, Chairman Sanders, my uh, focus is on making sure that the American people have access and availability and can afford the health care that can save lives, and that is what I will make a commitment to. Right now, um, we pay by far the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. The results are higher insurance premiums, higher hospital costs, and millions of people not, have, not able to get the drugs they desperately need. Will you commit to us that you will work to make sure that Americans do not pay higher prices 
for prescription drugs in this country than people around the world. Uh, Chairman Sanders, it would be a great honor to be able to work with you to make sure that the American people have access to the care that they need to live long and healthy lives. Okay, my time is up. Senator Cassidy.